Welcome to Hockey Wish Talks Podcast. In this podcast, I give a quick update on the Stanley Cup Finals, talk about my observations on the final series so far, and talk about what needs to change for both teams if needed. In this podcast, I update you on the Stanley Cup Finals, talk about my observations about the series so far, and some changes needed to be made. The Florida Panthers lead the Edmonton Oilers 3-0 in the 2024 Stanley Cup Finals and have a commanding lead in the series with a chance to sweep the series in Game 4 on Saturday. Sergei Bobrovsky was the story in Game 1 of the series as they shut out the Oilers in Game 1, making 32 saves as Carter Verhage would score his 10th goal of the playoffs and the eventual game-winning goal. The Panthers defeated the Oilers in Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals to extend their lead in the series as Evan Rodriguez would score twice in the third period and held the Edmonton Oilers power play in check as they went 0 for 4 on the power play. In dire need of a win, the Edmonton Oilers came out firing and played their best game thus far in the series, but it was not enough to beat the Florida Panthers. The Panthers managed to hold off the Oilers in Game 3 and put themselves on the verge of of their first ever Stanley Cup championship. Sergei Bobrovsky made 32 saves to help Florida survive Edmonton's late rally. And now a word from our sponsor. Check out my scouting blog at hockeywist777scouting.com. Listen to my scouting blog podcast on podcasters.spotify.com backslash pod backslash show backslash hockeywist777scouting. Coming into the series, the biggest advantage that the Panthers had over the Oilers was goaltending. And thus far, that has been the biggest difference. As Sergei Bobrovsky has outplayed Stuart Skinner in net, Sergei Bobrovsky has had a shutout in the series and has been the difference. As for the first time in the playoffs, the Panthers have been outshot in the majority of games. But thanks to the spectacular play of Bob, they were able to fend off the Oilers. If the Oilers were to have any chance of winning this series, their power play would have to click at an all-star level. And thus far, that hasn't happened yet. In fact, the Oilers have yet to score a power play goal in this series. This is credit to the Florida Panthers penalty kill unit. They have done a really good job of keeping the Oilers power play to the outside and preventing high quality chances. In terms of 5-on-5 play, the Florida Panthers have been the better team. Their structure is just really tough to break through as they send layers of defense at you. And if you are not organized and play as a team, it's just really difficult. The Panthers have played better defensively than the Oilers. Although the Panthers don't have the biggest names on paper, Their defense has been rock solid and have made fewer mistakes defensively. Whereas the Edmonton Oilers defensemen have been making bigger mistakes and they have led to goals by the Panthers. Notably, Evan Bouchard has been playing his worst stretch of hockey in the playoffs so far. Darnell Nurse and Cody Ceci continue to struggle. Lastly, the other area where Florida really dominates Edmonton is in the faceoff circle. And this is an area that Edmonton really needs to improve on in the offseason. You cannot win in the Stanley Cup Finals unless you are better on faceoffs. There are so many opportunities that go wasted by losing a faceoff. And it really starts from their top players, starting with McDavid. As good as Connor McDavid has been and is, the one area of weakness in his game is that he does struggle in the faceoff circle. So come playoff time, if you need to rely on him to take an important faceoff, he may not be able to win it. On the opposite side, Alexander Barkov has been brilliant on the faceoff circle, hence why Florida is excelling. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywithtalkshockey.blogspot.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at hockeywith777. For the Florida Panthers, they really don't need to change anything they're doing. If they want to take home the Stanley Cup, they cannot take their foot off the gas pedal. They just need to continue playing a full 60 minutes and come at the Oilers with unrelenting pressure. If they do that, they should be able to win the Stanley Cup. Maybe not in a sweep, but maybe in five games. For the Edmonton Oilers, if they want to have a chance in this series, they have to change their offensive approach and defensive tactics as well. Offensively, Florida's defensive attack 
is catered to stop your high profile offensive players knowing their strengths are gaining the zone with speed. So the design of the defense is to take away that speed coming into the zone. Although the strength of the Oilers is not for checking, it is better to dump the puck and get in after their defense with a hard forecheck rather than getting stripped of the puck in the neutral zone and the other team has an on-man rush. I thought in game three, they had a stretch of the period where they worked pretty well behind the goal line and were able to create some offensive chances, but they weren't able to sustain that for a long period of time because that is exactly what Florida does. Defensively, the Oilers need to do a better job of tying up their man and taking away the Panthers' time and space. They are too loose with their coverage and the Panthers just have all day to walk in and shoot. That just doesn't happen on the other end where the Panthers are restricting the Oilers' time and space with the puck. They need to do that on the other side of the ice and start taking away the Panthers' time and space, perhaps playing more physical defensively. This is easier said than done, but what the Oilers have to do is simplify what they're doing. Stop going for the fancy plays and beautiful goals. That's not happening against the Florida Panthers. The goals that they did score against the Panthers either off a fluke bounce or a tip in. Maybe get more shots to the net with traffic in front. That's the only way you are beating Bobrovsky right now. And in general, in the playoffs, the best approach is the more simplistic approach. The, b- the best approach is the more simplistic a- approach. Listen to Hockey West Talks podcast on Podbean and Spotify. It looks like the Florida Panthers are in control of the series and bearing a monumental meltdown, they should be the Stanley Cup champions this year. In my next podcast, I'm going to talk about one trade that every NHL team could make to impact their team.